Like I said a second ago, some teams are already moving on to the semifinals. We're going to start in North Little Rock for the 6A tournament. It's Springdale and Central. Winner moves on to the semifinals. The Tigers are off to a great start. Daniel Culberson from the elbow to get the game started. Honor Botang, the Missouri commit, gets the loose ball. All eyes on Botang. He's the focus of the defense, but he gives it up to Luke Moore. Luke Moore fakes, drives in, dishes to Chris Washington. Central off to a great start. Springdale's coach has already been ejected with two technical fouls. It is all Central after one quarter, 22 to nothing. I repeat, 22 to nothing. North Little Rock girls playing at home against Harbor. Kinley Mears drives, kicks it out to Madison Hatley. She knocks down the three. Second half, Jocelyn Tate drives, finishes, and she is fouled. Count it. Later, Tate with a little give and go. Tate gets it back, knocks it down. North Little Rock wins, 61-48. Now to Harbor and Jonesboro. Chris Stacy starts us out with the three. Later, the Golden Hurricane playing some tough defense. Caleb Chu comes up with the loose ball. He takes it to the other end, lays it in for two. Into the quarter, time running out for Jonesboro. C.J. Larry gets the roll at the buzzer. The Jonesboro needed more of that. Harbor advances with the 68-58 win. The first game was number one seed Fort Smith Northside and number four seed Central. Jordan Marshall came up huge for the Lady Tigers. She had 28 points. Central had a big second half and they pull off the upset. They win 66-60. The number one team in 6A goes down. Central moves on to the semifinals to play North Little Rock. Now to the 4A tournament in Farmington. Here's Mills and Westside. Gabe Gage Wilbanks kicks it out. Micah Dew is open. And they take the lead. Comments come right, right back. Marshall Wells finishes on the break. Mills back on top. After Westside retook the lead, Zaylen Rowland scores. Comets streak to the win. 73-59. They reach the semifinals.